Good morning. This is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk to you about using Windows PowerShell 5.0 to parse output from the NetStat command. So the first thing I want to do is to store the output of NetStat into a variable. So I just create a simple variable. I'll call it $A and uh, set it equal to NetStat. Uh, set press enter. This takes just a little bit for it to go off and to uh, collect the uh, network statistics and stuff. Uh, when it comes back, then I'll be able to uh, view my variable. All variables in Windows PowerShell begin with a dollar sign, which makes it easy to know that I have, in fact, a variable. Uh, one of the things that was actually a little confusing to me a long, long time ago when I was first learning programming is that lots of variables had like weird names and the weird names didn't really look like something that you uh, learned that was a variable. I mean, in, in uh, algebra, you learned that variables were A, B, C, D, and E. And uh, in early programming languages, you know, some of those variables might be, you know, you know obj, com, obj, or some kind of weird thing like that. So all that stuff would be a bit confusing. And what is PowerShell, though, all of my variables begin with a dollar sign. So now I know immediately if I have a variable or if I've got a language command or a commandlet name or something like that. So $A uh, now contains the output uh, of netstat, and I can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Okay, cool. So what I want to do now uh, is to actually uh, convert uh, this stuff. But the first thing before I do that, I need to figure out what line this actually is. So it looks like it's one, two, three, four, maybe. Uh, I'm not certain. So uh, I'm going to use a range operator here. And I'm going to start with, uh, with three, first of all. And then I'll go dot dot now I've got dollar a and count and uh, count is how many lines I actually have uh, so I press enter and we can see that yep I still have that first line there so uh, I'm going to need to change this to four and uh, when I do now all I've got is um, just uh, just the connection information from that step so cool so I know how far I've got now the next thing I need to do is actually pretty simple I uh, pipe it to convert from string and uh, I say groovy doovy and once I do this then now we can see that um, that uh, somehow or another there must be some invisible stuff in there, you know. So like for, uh, P1 uh, is a column, but it doesn't like really exist. And then I've got other other stuff there. So uh, what I want to do then is actually just um, use select string, uh, which or select object, and I'm going to select P2, uh, P3. Uh, P4 and P5 and um, so now we've got those and so now I've got only fields that have stuff if I if I'm only working with TCP then uh, I could omit you know P2 if I wanted to uh, what I'm really concerned about are the uh, the values uh, that are in uh, P5 you know is it established is it a weight or something like that and so now I can begin to uh, filter this stuff out uh, even further if I want to uh, because these are objects uh, so I can send this um, to where and I'm just going to say where P5 uh, is equal to and um, uh, is equal to and uh, establish and so now I can uh, find uh, the connections that are established or maybe I'm looking for the ones that are uh, time weight and um, that didn't show up anything uh, because it's time underscore weight um, there we go, and so I can see that there's a couple you know, that are that are set in time weight. Uh, some of them are closed, uh, for instance. And um, I don't have to do a um, an actual equals. So, for instance, I can say match um, uh, close, and um, then we can find the a bunch that are you know set for close weight or something like that. So this becomes really cool. I can uh, filter out by um, by my destinations over here for um, IP addresses or something. Yeah, so um, I'm uh, interested in uh, P4. 
P4, um, where P4 is going to match uh, maybe uh, something that begins with 100. And uh, they didn't show up, uh, probably because it's like 104 maybe. So uh, let me come over here and change this to 4. And um, so now we can find stuff that uh, connections that are going to that particular IP address. And uh, so this actually works out really, really cool. Um, and uh, it's a great way to, for me to be able to quickly and easily parse this stuff. If I wasn't talking while I was doing this, I mean, I could have done this in you know just a couple of sec, uh, a couple of minutes. The longest part being collecting my statistics back from that stat. So I'm Ed Wilson, the Microsoft scripting guy, and the commandlet is convert from string.